We're standing on the apparatus floor of Fireman's Hall Museum. This is where we store our rolling stock, our apparatus. And we have pieces ranging from horse-drawn to motorized and from that were used by the paid department and by the volunteers. I'm standing in front of the Rennie and Neffy steamer that was used by the Philadelphia Hose Company. It was built in 1858 by Rennie and Neffy, which were shipbuilders in the Port Richmond section of Philadelphia. It has a pump capacity of 900 gallons per minute, which was fairly large for the time. Um, it revolutionized firefighting in Philadelphia, mainly because it only took three people to operate as opposed to 50 that would be needed to operate a hand engine. Also behind me is the cannon wagon, which was built in 1903 in the fire department shops. It was designed by Chief Meskel, who actually has family in the fire department today. It was built to work with the high pressure fire system that was placed in 1903. Uh, there's no pump involved. The pumps were used by the high pressure system and they would connect directly to a hydrant. The cannon wagon was built in 1903 and was used up until about 1911. Um, it is one of a kind. There's nothing like this anywhere in the country. It is important for a visitor to the museum to visit the apparatus floor to get up close and personal with the apparatus that was used in the days of old and to see the craftsmanship that went into building them.